Hi, I'm the Artie Dance, and welcome to this video. For those new to my channel, I take a look at the best and strangest of Asian cinema, as well as a sprinkle of non-mainstream English-speaking movies as well, just for something different. In this video, I want to introduce you to the Hong Kong Malaysian co-production, Walk With Me, or as it's known in Chinese, Double Soul. Remember that Chinese title, because it will make sense at the end of the movie. Supernatural possession movies seem to be the bread and butter of Hong Kong cinema. I've seen so many of them lately that it's almost hard for screenwriters to come up with something original. And while not 100% original, if you stick to the end of this movie, you'll be rewarded with something different. Whether you like what it offers, well, that's a different question. Watch on to find out more about Walk With Me. This review contains spoilers. Sam works at a garment factory as the floor supervisor. Every day at work, she suffers from bullying at the hands of Fa one of the older women under her command. Her home life isn't any better. Her mum suffers from the pain of losing her unborn son due to a miscarriage, and her father is a drunken gambler who steals all the family's money. But Sam has a doll, Dodo, who she suspects is possessed by a ghost child. The doll has a habit of reappearing after it goes missing, and usually with consequences. When Sam runs into an old childhood friend named York, her life takes a deadly turn as the people who have wronged her end up dead. From initial viewing and watching the vision playing in this review, this movie looks like your standard average jump scare horror film. In fact, even at about the three quarter mark of the movie, I would have classified this as just another teen horror film. But then something clever happened. This movie spun a few things around and added a new theme that while interesting, wasn't as well handled as it could have been. Hey everyone, pardon the interruption, but I hope you're enjoying this video. I just wanted to take a quick moment of your time to let you know about J-List. They sell all sorts of cool Japanese stuff like snacks, toys, games and adult products. There is a link to their site below in the description of the video and any purchase you make using that link helps support this channel. Thanks for listening, now back to the review. And it's a shame about how it was handled as this movie had the potential to really connect with a particular audience. And I might guess that the stigma involved with mental illness and homosexuality in places like Malaysia and other Southeast Asian countries could be the reason why the themes weren't more deeply explored. And here's where the spoilers are going to be discussed. You've been warned. You see, Sam, the girl, is not actually a girl, but a boy, York. I mentioned in the intro that the Chinese title Double Soul would make more sense later in the movie, and it does when you consider that Sam is a manifestation of York's imagination. A way for York to hide his femininity to the world. In his head, he's actually a girl. This explains the incessant bullying he experiences at work, the favoritism with his boss who's also hiding his homosexuality and the shame his parents feel over his existence. The doll is his crutch or safety blanket that he uses as an excuse for the inevitable violent actions. By the end of the film, you do feel sorry for Sam. All his life, his mother has made him feel guilty over the death of his unborn brother. So to him, his unborn brother is the evil. It's what caused everything to change for him. 
The movie's subtle way of explaining Sam's behaviour is its weakest point. Certainly, if this movie was made in the USA or Europe, it probably would have been handled in the other extreme, which then would have done the story even less justice. So in the end, we're left with a movie that will most likely confuse most of the audience who watches it, and thus decry it a poor film. And that's a little unfair. Undoubtedly, the themes are hamstrung by the country of origin responsible for producing this film. They probably wanted a teen possession film the first half feels like, whereas the last part of the film feels like something the director probably wanted to make. Have you seen or are interested in watching Walk With Me? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments and if you agree or disagree with my review. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. You can also follow my reviews on Reddit at the sub Asian Film Fans or at www.theartydance.com.